Hi and a very good afternoon. Today I would like to talk about two texts from the collection of short stories being given. Regarding uh, in the text, I will be discussing regarding the problems that the society face and then all the, all the issues that are faced in the society of the two texts. I'll be taking two stories, which are Tomo Shibi from Sawako Ariyoshi, Japan, and the destination. Wang Ani China. So, from both two texts, uh, I would like to discuss about a few issues that are both uh, in in contain in the text. The first one I would like to discuss is about the changes faced by both uh, the individuals of both stories. In living in a world of modernization, as we can see, the view of how both how both uh, correct, uh, most most characters in both the text see how important it is for for the society to cling to traditional values and traditions despite modernization. When reading Tomo Shibi, as we can see, Mama San refuses to renovate her bar with the rest of the city. But rather keep it warm and invite an inviting place for all. As such, the bar patrons comment that anyone who casually enters the Tomo Shibi alone would be enveloped by a warm atmosphere and immediately feel at home. The Tomo Shibi is inconspicuous in all respects due to the ever-changing Japan's new surrounding. Uh, it is like a, the bar is like a display of a nature of a group of people who hold on to tradition. The traditional Japan's old ways welcoming uh, no man left behind values. In the destination, we can see that uh, city life is very different from Cheng Tin's life in the country, yet his family are still tight knit and close together and hold on to the traditional values. For example, his whole family touched him to get married soon, which is different from a uh, modern day style of life. And also Chen Zin's mother wants the whole family together to stay together despite the lack of space. See, they said the old lady likes to have a whole family together. In both texts also, they discuss about the hardships that both societies face in the new world. They live and the depression-related issues which come along with it. Like yes, in Tomo Shibi, we can see that any girl who decides to work in the bar has her own complex reason. The depressed barman Iko san had committed suicide at the beginning of the story due to problems she faced. And the remaindering Bame Shizu-san had her own share of problems, family issues, economy issues, all related to living to the city. The same is with the, same with the society Cheng Zin lives in. He mentions this several times. It's not easy to live in Shanghai. His family has a huge argument over many issues, especially one about limited living space in Shanghai, which regards about the room, the small room given by the government. The family lives together in the cramped quarters, and this is the introduction of the middle brother, into the into the space creates you something of a crisis. Also, there's the financial issues which Cheng Fang faces, uh, which his wife mentions. She says that uh, if she had uh, Cheng, when she married Cheng Fang, he had nothing to to give her except a dowry. And then in the last few pages, he describes Cheng Xin's work on the street of Shanghai and depression that came over him. Apparently, Cheng Fang and his wife started fearing that Cheng Xin might do something rash. But in both and both of the stories, they end with a glimmer of hope that no matter how bad things are in the current society, there's always a change. There's always a change of hope and miracles. As we can see in Tomo Shibi, there is a young woman named Momoko who hates her appearance. She does not enjoy working at the bar because people always make comments about her eyes. But once Momoko starts working at Tomo Shibi, she realizes that everything has changed. She said, Ever since I have came to this bar, nobody has commented on my eyes. The Tomo Shibi has a very magical feeling to it. It gives her a warm and welcoming feeling because the people act differently once they are in and do not like act like people outside in the living the, the modern city world. The, it causes people to become and feel comfortable to talk about things they love, like their dogs and 
instead and and of making and make the younger very comfortable. And Momoko, who once was very scared about her looks, now does not uh, now does not say anymore because no one notices about her eyes. As for Cheng Jin, he ends the story with hope. He believes that once he arrived in his true destination, he would have no doubts, troubles, or sense of rootlessness, despite his current condition in Shanghai.